Hello friends, this video on human health and diseases part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have been talking about the immune system, let us discuss about the human immune system. So what are the different parts of our body which forms the immune system of our body? Now when we talk about human immune system, we spoke about immunity, we talked about the basic concept of immunity, what are the different types of immunity, how immunity helps to fight infection. So now let us see what are the different parts of our body which actually together comprise the immune system. Now organs which together fight infections and disease causing organisms, they all together join hands to form the immune system of our body. So let us see what are the different organs which form the immune system. So these organs will actually recognize the antigen. They will respond to the antigen. So how, do, how does the immune system respond to antigen? They respond to antigen by producing antibodies and those antibodies will kill the antigens. And then store them in memory. Now memory that is very important so that when the same antigen attacks for the second time, a better uh, fight or a better response can be given. So the secondary response is always more intense when compared to the primary response. So basically these are the three tasks which are performed by the organs which together form the immune system. And this is how immune system fight against infection. So the various organs which constitute the human immune system are they are together known as the lymphoid organs. Why are they called lymphoid organs? Because we all know that in the immune system, immune system is all about the immune response. That is how the immune system responds to the antigens and the immune response is given in the form of antibodies. And who produces antibodies? The lymphocytes. So lymphocytes are the uh, leading role. That means lymphocytes play the most important role in the human uh, immune system. So the organs where these lymphocytes originate, differentiate, proliferate and become matured, these organs are known as lymphoid organs because these are the organs where the lymphocytes will originate, they will be produced here, so they will take birth here, they will grow here, they will differentiate here, they will become mature here. So that is why they are all called lymphoid organs. Now what are the different lymphoid organs? Bone marrow, thymus, spleen, lymph nodes, tonsils and pierced patches of in small intestine. So these are some of the lymphoid organs. Now out of these organs, bone marrow and thymus, these two are known as the primary lymphoid organs. Whereas the other organs like spleen, lymph nodes, tonsils and peers patches, they are known as the secondary lymphoid organs. Now what is the difference between primary and secondary lymphoid organs? Now primary lymphoid organs are those where the, the which play the most important role in the development of lymphocytes. So these are the organs where lymphocytes originate and differentiate. Whereas secondary lymphoid organs are those which provide sites for interaction between the lymphocyte and the antigen. So here it is this part where the origination, differentiation, maturation of lymphocyte takes place. So the lymphocytes get ready in the primary lymphoid organs. Now once the lymphocyte is ready, then it goes to the secondary lymphoid organ and in this secondary lymphoid organs, they, they provide the site where the lymphocyte can attack the antigen. Right? So that is why they are classified as primary and secondary lymphoid organs. Other than this also there are lymphoid tissues which also form a part of the immune system. The lymphocytes which are like the hero of the immune system because they do the main job. The B lymphocytes will produce that is the plasma B cells will produce the antibodies. The uh, memory B cells will remember or recognize the antigen and the T cells will stimulate the B cells to produce antibodies. And finally antibodies which are like they are the chemicals which are actually being produced by the lymphocyte and they fight antigens. So this is all about the human immune system. So now what we are going to do is we are going to talk about each of these organs and we will see how they participate in the process of immunity. So let us start with the primary lymphoid organs. So the first organ that we will talk about is 
uh, bone marrow and thymus. So these organs are involved in the production, development and maturation of lymphocytes. So that's what I was telling that lymphocytes take birth in the primary lymphoid organs. They become matured and they get ready to fight uh, the infection to fight the antigens so they completely get ready uh, in the primary lymphoid organs and then they just go to the secondary lymphoid organs to interact with the antigens so bone marrow what is bone marrow it is a flexible tissue inside bone so where is the bone marrow this structure which you see here is the bone marrow so it is present inside the bones and this is the place where lymphocytes are produced. So in bone marrow at the sites of production or the site of birth of lymphocytes. Next is thymus. So where is thymus? It is a bilobed gland which is located near heart. It's not ear. It's located near heart just below the breastbone. So this is thymus. So here you can clearly see in the picture how it is a bilobed structure. So you can see two lobes like this and like this. So there are two lobes present and this is the site for development and maturation of the lymphocytes. So the lymphocytes will be born in bone marrow and they will develop and mature in the thymus. And because of this, they have got the name T lymphocytes, that is thymus lymphocytes, the lymphocytes which mature, mature and uh, develop in the thymus gland. That is why they got the name T lymphocytes. Now, the, talking about the size of the thymus, so here you can see an adult human being and in that adult you see the thymus gland is extremely small. However, when a person is born during birth, the size of the thymus gland is quite large and it gradually tends to decrease in size. By the time puberty is attained during adolescence, the thymus gland becomes very small in size. Now let us talk about the secondary lymphoid organs. So the first organ that we will talk about is the spleen. So what is spleen? It is a bean shaped organ located to the upper left part of abdomen. So here this organ is spleen. So this acts as a filter for blood and it is also a reservoir of erythrocytes. What are erythrocytes? They are nothing but the red blood cells. So it helps in storage of red blood cells and it also acts as filter for blood. So whenever blood comes to the spleen, it actually filters out all the unnecessary material from the blood. So it acts as a filter. So the next secondary lymphoid organ is the lymph nodes. Now these are small organs which are distributed widely throughout the lymphatic system. So they are like present in many different parts of the body. So if you talk about the lymph nodes. So let us see where exactly do we see lymph nodes. So here you can see these structures which are seen here they are the lymph nodes. And again the lymph nodes are also present in this region. So these are your lymph nodes. And again you have lymph nodes around your around the area of your breast so there also you have the lymph nodes you again have lymph nodes somewhere near your genital area so here also you have lymph nodes so they are distributed throughout the body in different parts of the body and what do they do they trap antigens from the lymph now these are the lymph nodes means the lymph vessels, it is a part of the lymphatic system and they, throughout the lymphatic system, the tissue fluid or the lymph is flowing. The lymph will contain antigens and these lymph nodes will trap those antigens. Now you understand why the secondary lymphoid organs act as a site of interaction between antigen and the lymphocytes. That's because if you look at each secondary lymphoid organ, whether you talk about spleen or you talk about the lymph nodes, all of them tries to trap the antigens. Spleen traps antigens from the blood, uh, lymph nodes trap antigens from the lymph. So they keep the antigens with them and when the lymphocytes come to their place, that is when the lymphocytes come to the spleen or when the lymphocytes come to the lymph nodes, there is an interaction between the lymphocytes and the antigen. So lymphocytes means they will produce antibodies and their antibodies will destroy the antigen. So the secondary organs are providing the site where the antigen can interact or where the lymphocyte can produce antibodies and the antibodies can interact with the antigen. So now the next secondary lymphoid organ is tonsil. 
So what are tonsils? These are soft tissue lumps and this is present somewhere here like near your throat area. So that is where you see tonsils and they exist in pairs. So there are two tonsils which are present one on either side at the back of the mouth. Now the size of the tonsil varies from person to person. Some of them have quite small in size for some it is little larger. So how do they help? They help to trap germs which might otherwise be inhaled by a person. So when we inhale that might contain germs. Now some of them are blocked by the nasal hair and whatever gets in they are again trapped by the tonsils. So antibodies are produced by the immune cells in the tonsils and it, it thus helps in preventing any sort of throat infection or lung infection because tonsils, tonsils are a part of the respiratory system in some way. So it helps to trap the germs so that the respiratory system can be protected from any type of infection. The last secondary organ is the Pierce patches of small intestine. Now what are these Pierce patches? Patches means the small masses of tissues. So these are small masses of tissue which are present in the small intestine. So here, so here you can see these are the Pierce patches of small intestine. Now they are, they are present in the ileum region of small intestine. If you remember, small intestine has three parts duodenum, ileum and jejunum. So these tissues are present in the ileum region and they prevent the growth of pathogens in the small intestine. That is their purpose. So now please uh, have a look at this. Please notice this that all the secondary lymphoid organs they somehow trap germs either pathogens or some or the other antigen and then they provide that platform for the lymphocytes to interact with the antigen and then destroy the antigens. So this is how the human immune system works and different organs of the immune system function. So with this I think we have uh, ended our discussion on immunity. So we saw what is immunity, uh, what is human immune system and what are the different types of immunity and please understand the concept of immunity that is very important. So after this we are going to talk about some of the very important diseases which are very deadly as well. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four-step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.